This is our 2010 Montebello. Here in the Santa Cruz Mountains, this vineyard with elevation being above the fog, the vines escaped most of the fog to remain in the sunshine. So while it was a cool season, the vines still had ample sunshine to fully ripen. We hand harvested this fruit, brought it to the winery to destem with a final manual sort by ourselves, pulling out stems and green berries. Following the natural malolactic fermentation and barrel, I pulled barrel samples of all the lots that were possible to then go through a series of blind tasting with the winemaking and vineyard team. We sat down, tasting all the components to choose what we felt were the most classic of the vintage. And in this vintage, 2010, we actually have all four grapes that we grow here at Montebello. So it's 74% Cabernet Sauvignon, 20 Merlot, four Petit Verdot, and two Cab Franc. Even though the, the season was cool, we were still able to achieve a, a full ripeness here of 13.2%, which is slightly above average for our, our Montebello. So this is a very rich wine, highly expressive of Montebello character. The underlying limestone soil is, is one of the components that we're looking for as we assemble. So in any of the individual components that are chosen, we're looking for that limestone expression, as well as ageable tannins and deep fruit. So the entry of this wine is really large, very serious fruit, lots of crushed rock minerality, firm acid, and tannins that just really coat the palate and, and really maintain presence all the way into the finish. It's a long wine and probably one of the most complex wines we produced in the 2010 vintage. So while this is a really delicious wine to drink right now, if you're willing to put your bottles away for at least 10 years, you'll, your patience will be rewarded. This is a wine with a track record of really reaching great bottle age. Um, this vintage 2010, we really expect will hold for 30 plus years. And as Montebello ages, it begins to really show much more of the nuances of the soil here. The personality of Montebello will be even more present in the nose and on the palate. The tannins will soften further, more of the cedary notes will come forth, and, and it will just drink like silk. Um, in fact, yesterday I had a bottle of the 94, and that was just absolutely sensuous wine. So the 2010 clearly will be one of those great vintages of Montebello for holding on to. And we are very excited by this vintage and hope you will be as well.